on a lonely fishing pontoon in one of the remotest bays on the planet, a unique bond has evolved between a group of simple Indonesian fishermen and the ocean's greatest shark. Every day the fishermen haul nets full of small silver bait fish, known as puri. Most of this they dry in the sun. Those they don't need are discarded. Every day the giant shark queue up to share the catch. What they're not given, the shark will take. Sucking greedily, each mouthful is a nutritious soup. When pushed out of the way by a competitor, they circle below the bagan before returning for another try. Far from regarding them as a nuisance, the fishermen believe the shark bring luck and feed them morsels to encourage them to stay around. As night falls, the fishermen power up their banks of lights. The whale shark know that the lights attract Puri and come to join. Huge shadows emerging from the inky black of the nighttime sea, briefly silhouetted by the Bagan lights, before disappearing again into the night on their relentless patrolling. The haul at daybreak shows that Puri are not the only catch. In fact, there's a shark in the net whose fins are worth thousands of dollars on the markets of Hong Kong and China. Despite the value of their catch, the Papuan fishermen's dawn priority is not to butcher the shark, but to free it. But how long will they continue doing this? Protection's fragile. No pack of creatures could be more vulnerable. Conditioned to remaining around the Bagans, they could be targeted at any time by commercial shark fin. Innocent trust in humans could result in a harpoon and the cruel sawing off of fins while the shark still struggled. In a morning's fishing, the giants of Chenderawasi Bay could be no more. <laughs>